So our ad payment is working, but there is one issue that uh, whenever we are creating a new one, let's create it for 2000. When we come back, it doesn't automatically update. So we are going to fix this. But if I, let's say, go back and come again, it updates now because we are getting like a hold of the loan again. So in order to fix this, and anyway, we need to create a view model for our payments view because uh, there are a lot of things we need to do in our payments view, in our view model. Let's go to our domains and create here uh, Swift UI view I will choose because I'm lazy and call this payments payment view model. All right, so final class. And it's going to confirm to observable object. And let's just get rid of this. All right, in our payments view model, we are going to have some parameters. First, we want to have a private var loan of type loan. And uh, I'm going to have again, a function that is going to set this loan. And we are going to pass the loan of type loan. And here we just simply say self dot loan is equals loan. Alrighty. And uh, let's go to our payments view. And we are going to actually initialize this uh, view model so that we can use because we are initializing it here, we say at state object private var view model is equals to payment view model and let's initialize it. All right, so we have access to our payment view model. We are getting this view, uh, this loan, and let's pass it to our payment view model. Again, after our toolbar here on appear, let's say view model, set loan object to loan that we have received. And let's run our application one more time. And in loan one, I'm going to create another payment of 300. Click done. All right, so we are getting this. Uh, let's go back. To our view model and let's continue setting up our view model here okay so uh, we will have some uh, published private and it's going to be the set private because uh, the setting is going to happen in the class but we can read it from outside var exp Expected to finish on, and this is a string equals to empty string. Let's duplicate this a few times. Then we have a progress. I'm going to have it as a string now. Actually, we don't need the string here. Anyway, the parameter, uh, the value we pass it is string. Uh, the progress, I'm going to have a string for now, but uh, this is going to be uh, some kind of different object. Uh, to show our progress. Then we have all payments. And this is going to be an array of payment objects. And we're going to start with an empty array. And then all payment objects. This we will use to actually divide uh, each payment and group them by year. Um, for now, let's keep it an empty array. Let's say it's array of strings, but we are going to again create an object for this. Okay, uh, what we are interested now is in these all payments. So once we set our loan object, we want to set also the payments of this uh, array. So each loan has an array of its loans, right? So we are going to, uh, in our payments view, instead of getting the loan uh, payments array, we are going to get the array from our view model. So let's say uh, for now, view model dot all payments, all right? And uh, let's go back to our view model. And here 
let's uh, create a function private func again it's private because it's not going to be called from outside and call this set payments once we uh, set our loan object I'm going to call this set payments function as well so in our set payments I'm going to first double check if we have a loan object so I will say card let loan equals loan else return so we check if uh, this variable that we are calling a loan I'm just calling it loan for uh, just sake of not creating an extra variable name but you can call this anything you want as long as this is equals to this which is an optional so if it means if it's equals it means this new variable has a value otherwise we just exit the function so if we have this we say all payments is equals and we access the loan dot payment array remember this payment array that we have created here our handy thing from the set so we set this array the value of our payments array uh, the loan uh, payments okay and this is published so every time this is set our uh, view here which is payments view will be notified and we will grab it and show it so let's replace our running application go to loan one and add uh, 50 euros payment now you can see that we automatically update it every time we add this uh, new payment because we are resetting this all payments value which gets published and we find out about it good um, this is working we are going to um, let's first uh, create a cell so that this is nicely formatted without a million zeros after the dot so we are going to go to our loan cell here actually let's right click create new uh, group from selection and call this components components and I'm going to create a new Swift UI file and call this uh, payment cell all right so in our payment cell what we need to have let's go to our ready application and let's see our payment so we have uh, the amount on the top and the date of the payment at the bottom so let's uh, put here we are going to get let amount is double and let date is date object so here we are going to have a v stack and we are going to have an alignment of leading spacing of five and content will be two text fields first one will be our amount which uh, i'm going to format as a currency and again i'm passing uh, the euro let's set it a uh, font of headline and uh, weight of semi-bold and quickly copy this second one is the date and here we are going to pass formatted date is going to be abbreviated and we don't want to get the time so we omit it uh, this is smaller a little bit subheadline and I want to change the color here foreground color secondary so it will be a little bit light grayish color All right the preview is complaining let's pass the information here amount I don't know 400 date today let's have a preview see how it looks all right uh, now we can uh, use this we can go to our payments view and instead of passing this text here I will say payment cell and we need to pass the amount and the date the amount will be our payment dot amount and date will be payment dot wrapped date run our application So our cells look much better with the information 
Um, the next thing I want to do is to work on the top area a little bit uh, so we can get our progress and uh, information there. So let's go to our components again and let's create this uh, progress bar. A new Swift UI called this progress bar. Okay, our progress bar is going to need three things if we go to our ready one so it needs the amount of money we have already paid it needs to know how much is the total amount so that it will subtract and let us know how much we have still left to pay and to fill this up this like loading bar we need uh, some fragment of uh, for this to be full is like uh, 1. Empty is 0. So we need some number between 0 and 1 in order to show how much we have paid. So this is this, uh, the, the progress value. Okay, and uh, we're simply using two rounded rectangles, one on top of the other one, and some text to show like a loading bar here. So what I want to do is um, here we are going to create an initializer. And uh, we are going to pass two parameters in. Uh, we could uh, pass all this uh, value to show the loading bar, uh, paid amount and total amount separately, or we could create an one object that will combine all the information together. I want to create an object so that it will make our life easier. So let's go to our model, command N and Swift file. Next, this will be called progress. So let's create a struct of progress and this will have a value which is zero left amount which is again zero and paid amount which is again zero so we have this progress which has three things value which will show how much of the our loading bar will be full how much is left to pay and how much we already paid, right? So we have progress object. So let's pass this uh, progress object to our uh, progress view. So we say private let progress is of type progress, right? So in our initializer, I will pass a progress of type progress and say, self dot progress is equals to our progress okay we have this object which has all the values that we need just command p uh, here we need to pass one for our view so progress and initialize because this has all the default values that we have put it refresh our ui all right nothing is there good actually our hello world is there so this is what we need uh, in our body, we are going to use geometry reader in order to get the screen size and know uh, how much of it we are going to uh, utilize to have our loading. So let's say geometry reader and we are going to get uh, geometry in. And we have a Z stack. Alignment is going to be leading and we have a content. So inside our Z stack, let's look at the ready one again. We have a Z stack which has a Z stack on top because we have uh, four things, one on top of the other one, yes? We have one uh, rectangle underneath, which is a rounded corner. Then we have a text. We have another rectangle with the text there as well. So inside this Z stack, I'm going to create another Z stack. This one alignment will be thrilling and it will have its own content. So in inner Z stack, let's create a rectangle and we set a frame. The frame will have a width and our width is going to be geometry dot size dot width. So this is our screen width and then the height is going to be our geometry dot size dot height 
Let me just put this on a separate line. So this is our rectangle. Let's put uh, opacity, which will be 0 0.3. It's basically 30% full. And uh, foreground color. Foreground color for the first one, I'm going to use color dot and we'll create UI color dot system this color here I don't need a dot here actually we are initializing and this is kind of minty color underneath that we have okay so this is our first rectangle on top of this rectangle we want to see this text so we say text We access our progress dot left amount. We need to format this. And I want a currency with a euro code. So now we get the amount, All right? And uh, let's put this some font. The font is going to be caption. Foreground color, let's say red. So it's easier for I to read it. Let me just zoom in here. All right, and uh, put some padding because it's really touching the right side. So let's say uh, padding of uh, horizontal. So we get some margin on the right side. Right, and uh, now uh, this Z stack is closed. Okay, so I'm going to create another Z stack right after this one. And again, this is going to have an alignment. This one will be leading because now we are doing the other loading bar. This is the top and the content here. So here we will have a rectangle. Again, with a frame, let me just copy all these. So our frame will be, but uh, this time we are not going to use actually the geometry because the top one depending how much we have paid. So the width is going to be mean of CG float. And then I'm going to pass our progress dot value times geometry dot size dot width. And the height is going to be our uh, height whatever the height is and i think here geometry size height we are missing a bracket okay i'm missing geometry size dot width because to create the minimum we need two values so we have the cg float and then we get our progress times the width and the width here and the height is set as usual the opacity i'm removing because we want the maximum opacity here and foreground color is i'm going to put a system blue okay let's bring back our canvas we don't see the blue because uh, the paid amount is zero anyway uh, for our progress here um, and now the text let's copy the text put it here and this is going to be progress paid amount currency euro again the font the foreground color I'm going to remove and padding to have horizontal as well all right uh, this is uh, our view ready is quite big but uh, whenever we put it a frame it will get maximum of the height of the frame um, what i want to do is to make this one a little bit uh, reusable we are going to pass uh, height ah, we forgot to put the corner radius because right now our uh, view is just a rectangle
is uh, the Siri is trying to help me. Uh, corner reduce of 45. So it's nice and round. And uh, let's pass a frame here. And I'm going to pass a height. And this height, I want to, uh, because this is the height we have, uh, I think it's some 20 points, but I want to make this uh, view dynamic so you can use it in any uh, area that you want. So we are going to pass the height as well uh, in our initializer if we want to. We will have a default value as well. So let me put a uh, bar height is CG float. CG float and by default let's put 20 points. So in case if nobody passes bar height, it's gonna be 20. And say self dot bar height equals to bar height. And here we will just pass our bar height. So now you see it becomes 20 points only. But uh, whenever we use, if you want, you can uh, in your initializer, you can pass any height here and the uh, value will automatically change and the loading bar will be much bigger.